What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are hopping onto the Regulation D rank ladder with a Slitherwing team for you guys. Should be fun, should be a cool one. You don't see Slitherwing too often, so hopefully I get to rock out with it and grab you guys some wins with them. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But back in Series 2, when Paradox Pokemon were first released into the rank format, Slitherwing was actually pretty solid. You were seeing him on a couple of teams. It was pretty strong with doing some work with its bug moves and its fighting moves. But now that Regulation D is here and the meta has shifted, you've stopped seeing it as a whole. This is the first time I'm actually seeing it and I'm going to be using it in today's video. So... Again, we're looking to grab some wins. This team also features a bunch of meta Pokemon like Urshifu and Shen Pao. You have Tornadas for support, and then you got Basco Legion and Regilecki. But the first Pokemon we're going to go over is going to be Slitherwing for today's team preview. It has Protosynthesis alongside with the Booster Energy. It has First Impression for Stab and for First Turn Priority. Then it has Acrobatics, Close Combat, and Protect. Really like this move, move set, especially if we Terrastalize. Acrobatics is going to be double damage because of the Stab, and then on top of that, we get the Acrobatics boost because we will not have an item due to our booster energy being gone. Tornadus is our second Pokemon, and like I said, it is the best support Pokemon in Regulation D, so you can't go wrong with it on any team. It's got Prankster and the Cover Cloak, Rock and Tailwind, Rain Dance, Bleak Wind Storm, and Taunt. In our third slot, we're rocking out with Bastion Legion, and this thing is pretty normal, except for it's not Swift Swim. This one is adaptability, doubling any move that it's typing in. So every single move that it has, Wave Crash, Aqua Jet, and Lancer Specs are going to be double damage due to that ability. That's the Assault Best as item, and then its fourth move, which we didn't mention, is going to be Terra Blast with that Grass Terra type. Urshfu is rocking out in our fourth slot, and I'm not even going to say anything about it. He's there. Everything's pretty straight up normal with him. Move sets normal, items normal. You guys want to check it out. Again, he's right on the screen. We got Regilecki in our fifth slot with the Choice Scarf and the Transistor as its ability. Having Choice Scarf on Regilecki is kind of redundant because it's so fast, but if you're going up against teams that are setting up Tailwind, it's going to be pretty good. <clears throat> He's got Thunderbolt, E-Web, Volt Switch, and Terra Blast. Final Pokemon is Shen Pao, pairs up perfectly with the Slitherwing and with the Urshfu, Rocket Protect, Sucker Punch, Ice Spinner, and Sacred Sword, and the Focus Sash as its item. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on the Regulation D ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Slitherwing team. First match coming at you guys, and it's cool to see that we're going up against another off meta Paradox Pokemon. We're going up against an Iron Jugulus team. It also has Tornadus, Fluttermane, Chi Yu, Rillaboom, and last but not least, Urshifu, just like us. But uh, I definitely want to lead Slitherwing here. I'm feeling a nice little Slitherwing lead alongside with Shen Pao, because with these two on the field, I can actually just pop uh, first impression and do crazy amount of damage when it's next to Shen Pao, so I really do like that. So I'm going to end up leading both of these Pokemon, and then in the back end, I am going to bring Urshfu, because obviously Urshfu is top tier, and Regilecki. Regilecki could definitely be good. He's got the Ice Terror type. I really like it. So yeah, we're going to go in with Regilecki in the back end. So, Regilecki is going to be fine, especially as a back-end Pokemon, because it's going to be super effective on a few of these Pokemon. But, in, if the off chance comes where we have the choice into the Ice move, it's going to be really good, because it's going to be super effective onto the Tornadus and onto the Rillaboom, which Rillaboom kind of is used a lot as a back-end Pokemon. But, well, we'll see who they want to lead. We can definitely see Tornadus come out for him, and if that's the case, I'm just going to first impression this turn. And there it is, Tornadus and Fluttermane, and I think we're just going to first impression onto the Fluttermane. And we'll Ice Spinner down the, uh, the Tornadus. Cool. Nice little Pro Synthesis boost. My attack is heightened, and I'm ready to do some big time damage. I'm ready to do big time damage, but, like, of course, it's not very effective on both. Nice little Bug Typing. Um, I could Terrastalize here and go Flying, which wouldn't be bad, but I still kind of want to use First Impression. I still want to see how much damage it's going to do. We got Boost Energy, we got all that stuff, and I might just Terrastalize, too. Just to do damage, because I'm thinking I can go Terrastalize here, have both my Pokemon eat up Dazzling Gleam or whatever Flutter Mate is going to shoot at us, and then First Impression should do enough for Shen Pao to next turn Sucker Punch it. So, I kind of like that. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to go Ice Spinner, and let's do it. Let's do it, because everybody knows Shen Pao Sucker Punch hits hard. It hits real hard. But I feel as First Impression, you can only use it on your first turn, so I kind of want to get some value out of it. So we're going to have Terrastalize just so we don't die out from any fairy move coming in here from Fluttermane. And we'll get ripping from there. He ends up just straight up protecting. That's fine, I guess. I'm cool with that. Retail winning. 
You're not Tailwind. Actually, you might be. First impression might come out before Tailwind. Let's see. Are you Tailwinding? No, you're popping a sunny day. Nice, lovely little sunny day coming out here. Nice sunny day comes out here. Speed's going to be heightened onto Fluttermane. And Ice Spinner is going to be cooking. With Ice Spinner up, can we just KO? Ooh, we should have KO. And no Tailwind comes out from him. So I can get down with that. So I could actually swap my Slitherwing if I want to, but I feel as we'll get more value out of Slitherwing if we just let it die out here. And who knows? They might not even double down into it. Because I'm thinking of just Sucker Punch and, ooh, you're going to fake me out. How dare you fake me out? How dare you fake me out? You got to be faking out my, my Shen Pao here, right? You got to be faking out my Shen Pao. Shen Pao is the bigger threat. And I wish I could go for a uh, first impression here. That would be dope. But I'm just going to go for an Acrobatics into the Wilbur slot. And I'm just going to protect the Shen Pao. You've got to be faking out the Shen Pao. You have got to be faking out the Shen Pao. But Terrasai is going to come out from our opponent. Could be Rillaboom. And it is going to be Rillaboom. So solid Terror type. Probably Water. Yep. Nice lovely Water Terror type coming out from the Rillaboom. So that's fine by me considering I have Regilecki chilling. I have Regilecki just chilling in the back end. Nice electric type to deal with that water. And he's going to fake out the Shen Pao like we read. So we still have our Focus Ash. We still got all that good stuff. Um, Flutter Mane's going to go next. And you're just going to go for a nice little Dazzling Gleam. So a nice little Gleam Gleam comes out here. And that is going to not even half my Slytherin, which I love. So now we get off a of big time Acrobatics with our Terror type. And wow, Slytherwing is ripping with Acrobatics. I was not expecting it to kill that real boom. I was expecting like middle of yellow just some big time damage but it's ko and we got booster energy we got terror type double damage because uh we're not holding an item and then we got the shen pal boost because we're standing next to it that is awesome that is awesome that's a big time ko for us so slithering rocking out here in match number one we love it we love it they're gonna go into their final pokemon it is going to be the jugs iron juggies jug jugs he's gonna quirk drive boost and what do you got you got speed height okay I feel you. I understand. So from here, I am just going to acrobatics down this slot and do I sucker punch? Yeah, I think I'm just going to double down and flutter me in here. I'm going to sucker punch flutter me because they're going to be fast. So he put that thing down the red, which is absolutely amazing. And then he's just going to gleam and put me on sash and put my silver down at 50. I love what we said. I love what we said. The flash hands can come out here. He is going to end up taking out my Shen Pao. But in return, my Slytherin is going to get rid of Fluttermane. And that's going to be pretty much match. Because I got Urshifu, I still have Regilecki in the back end. I'll probably just bring out Regilecki here just to clean this one up. Dracobags flies, we say bye bye to Fluttermane and Slytherwing. Get it after it, match number one. Get after it. I love the Terror type on it. I love it. Di I didn't even know this thing learns acrobatics. I feel like any Pokemon that learns acrobatics could be good in this gen. Considering you can just put normal terror, or not normal terror, uh, flying terror on it and get going from there and just give it an item that's going to lose. It's so good. Just give it like psychic seeds or something and pair it up with the train. It's so good. It really is. But from here, we're going to go acrobatics and on top of that, just drop a nice little thunderbolt. I believe our opponent cancels. They do not. They want to take this hit from Regilecki. Regilecki just finishes it off. He says, hey, you're not going to cancel. I'll just kill your Hydreigon. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 1-0 to get this video started. Second match is on its way, and we're facing up against Scissor, one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. Love that thing's design, and it looks so cool. Its textures are so good in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But they also have Grimmsnarl, probably to set up screens, and then they got Tornadus, Bascu Legion, Rockin' Storm Drain, Gastrodon, and last but not least, they do have Fluttermane. So they could go into a Rain Squad if they want to. They can set up the Rain, they can have Gastrodon doing some big-time damage, they can have Swiss from Bascu Legion getting after it. So how should I play this one? I could go Urshu. I'm going to have to watch out for Gastrodon because they're definitely bringing in Gastrodon. Gastrodon is a little bit of a problem. So with this team, I think we're going to go Slitherwing and I think we're going to go Shen Pao as the lead again. We're going to bring Bashka Legion in the back end. And then last but not least, do I go in with you? That's the real question. I like Regilecki because it's so fast, but I don't know if I want to bring it in there just because I think they're going to be bringing in Gastrodon. Hmm. I think we have Bashka Legion to kind of clean up Gastron if it's a back end fight. We can tear grass. We can kind of get after it that way. So I'm going to bring Regilecki. I like having that, especially with uh, going up against Flutter Mains and Tailwinds, all that stuff. A nice fast Regilecki with the Choice Scar. It's going to do us some justice. So 
I'm with it. I'm all about it. But we're one to know. Let's win this match. Go into third and final battle with a nice little winning record. Have everything looking pretty. But yo, what's up with that carp? Is that what shiny match carp looks like? Did you guys just see that person's profile picture? It's like gray. It's like silver. Is that what it looks like? That's that's ugly color. That's a that's an ugly color. I don't like that. I do not like that. But out comes Scissor, out comes Tornadus. And from here, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. First impression just has not been good for us. I mean, not very effective on like everybody. Uh, but from here, hmm. Who do I even use it on? Let me just use it on Scissor. And from here, if they want to bullet punch me, they can bullet punch me. I'm just going to go into an ice spinner and just get rid of it. That's going to be my play. If you want to bullet punch me, I don't want to waste my terror type. I really don't want to do that. They're going to end up terrestrializing. Who are you terrestrializing? I was going to say, it's got to be the scissor. You never see Tornadus with a terror. There's a water terror out here. A water terror on this lovely scissor. The first impression is going to fly here, and it's just KOing now. Bad terror change. Yo, what's the other wing so good? Oh my god, this thing kills it with Shen Pao. Oh my lord, that's beautiful. This is just a double kill. I, I wouldn't be surprised to see your opponent turn off the console here. That's a dang shame, yo. Bad terror type first impression comes through. Wipes the scissors. Yo, Slytherwing's getting it done today. This thing's OP. This thing's killing it. Out comes Gastro. Fluttermane's also gonna come out here. And we thriving. We thriving. We are thriving. So I could go Terra here if I want to. I think I'm just gonna close combat the Gastro. No, I'll double down to Fluttermane. Once we get rid of Fluttermane, we pretty much win this match. I'm gonna double down into Fluttermane here. Hopefully it doesn't protect. I could definitely see your opponent just cancel this battle. But they don't. They stay in here. We get off some big time damage with Sucker Punch. That's a wing is going to cook. And I end up surviving. Let's see who Gastro goes after. Well, actually... My Slytherin goes first, which is big. So we get rid of Fluttermane. And Gastro, what are you doing? So close to picking up the sweep. So close to picking up the sweep. Probably goes after Shen Pao. And then you go after my Slytherin. And my poor little Slytherin, who is killing it in today's video, goes out. Yo, what an easy win. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. So now I'm going to bring out Basky Legion. I could obviously Terra and win this game, but there's no point of Terrasalizing. Actually... We could. We could say screw it. Actually, no. We're, we're, we're not. We're not that person. If I have to terrestrialize later, I will. But for, for, for now, we're just going to go into a Sucker Punch. We're going to go into Last Respects. And our opponent just cancels the battle. So 2-0, quick second battle. Slithering is killing it. Final match is on its way, and we already grabbed ourselves a winning record. We're sitting 2-0, and Slithering is just... It's blowing me away. It's blowing me away at how good it is in Regulation D. I'm going to lead it again. I'm leading Shen Pao and Slytherwing. That combo is just awesome. I absolutely love it. If they end up leading in DD and setting the Surge, we'll just play around that. But I love this lead. I absolutely love this lead. First impression, killing it. Especially when that Scissor Terrasse slides into a bad Terror type and we just ripped into it. But it didn't really make sense for him to Terra in the water. Right? Maybe he thought this Slytherwing is fire. Maybe, right? I mean, it looks fire, but it's not. It's bug and fighting. But yeah, that was just a weird terror. We'll take that all day. But in the back end, we're going with Regilek again. It is just such a good back end Pokemon. And final Pokemon for us is going to be Urshifu, right? It's just our best bet. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a perfect record. Even though you guys know deal in match number threes, we like to have fun, especially when we're 2-0. When we're 2-0, we like to have fun. I don't really care if we win or lose this battle, but you know what? I'm, I, I kind of want to win it. I kind of want a perfect record on the channel, especially with Slytherwing. This Pokemon is doing ridiculous. Like, you get so much boost, right? You get your booster energy boost. You can then acrobatics. You can go for first impression, which is a crazy strong first turn priority move that you can only use once. Only once when you hop into battle. It's kind of like fake out, but a lot stronger. My nose be itching right now. What's up with it? I don't like to scratch my nose too much because then my nose gets all red. It just bothers me. But, uh, 
Let's see. Let's see what they got cooking. Indeed and pulled. So this is the one thing I didn't really want to happen because I want to go into first impression, but we'll work around it. We'll work a little bit of magic here. So the surge is gonna come out here. The lovely little psychic surge, and we can't go for sucker punches. We cannot go for first impressions. So from here. I want to do I wish this man man I wish that can come through hmm mm -mm -mm. we definitely want to ice spinner get rid of that uh, definitely want to get rid of the terrain I might just protect you I could terror you yeah I'll tear I'll terrasalize I'll terrasalize the slithering I'll go after Indeedee with the Ice Spinner. And the reason I want to go after Indeedee with the Ice Spinner is because if Dragapult outspeeds me, he can go for Phantom Force and just dodge the move, and the terrain will still be up. Whereas I just want to take out the terrain and make sure it's gone, just so I can Sucker Punch next turn if I need it. So I'll Terrasalize the Slitherwing, who looks awesome. I love his design. And they're going to end up Terrasalizing probably the Dragapult, right? Is it the Poltsky? No, it's going to be Indeedee. Go into a dumb typing. Fairy. Okay. I understand. I understand. It's all good. This little fairy terror coming out here. Follow me is now going to come out here. So he ends up going for the follow me. Dragon darts is going to fly here, and one's going to hit Shen Pao, and the other is going to hit Slytherin. And wow, that damage output is insane. I go for a nice lovely ice spinner. I'm thinking acrobatics should be able to finish this off, and then I can go to Sucker Punch if I want to. We'll see how this one plays. The Acrobatics comes out here. And bang bang. Indeedy a goner. But I'll take some damage to Rocky Helmet. Don't like it, but it's okay. So I might end up swapping Slytherin here. I might just do that, because Dragapult might swap. Could be Sash as well, but I think it's gonna be I think it's Bandit. I think it's Choice Bandit for uh, how hard it's hitting with uh, Dragon Darts. But I might swap Slytherin, because I would love to have another first impression turn later on down the road. Heatran is now going to come out here. Um, I think we just hard swap here into Urshifu. And then we go for Sucker Punch. I'm with it all day. And if that thing's Bandit, it's going to have to attack. Like, bro, I, I like what we're saying. I really like what we're saying. Honestly, I should have stayed in here with Slytherin. I should have just close combat at Heatran. I really should have. Because I'm predicting this Dragapult to be Bandit. And it probably is because it swapped. And if that was the case, Sucker Punch would have just KO'd. And then I could just close combat it and actually finish off Heatran. But it's fine. I want my first impression. I want it. I want it. It'll be good, especially now that they swapped Dragon Bolt. I'll go to Urshifu here. And Sucker Punch is going to get blocked. And we'll see what Heatran is good for. Heatran, what are you doing? You're flamethrowing this side. Do not burn me. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. Oh, you burned Ursuline. I thought I got burned for a second. Oh, uh, that's going to be upset, but Ursuline is going to get the Guts Trigger. Uh, from here, who do I KO? I really have a choice. Like, who do I take out here? Is Ursuline really a bigger threat? I'm not too worried about Heatran with the Slytherin in the back end, so I'm going to do that, and I guess I'll Sacred Sword this. The Sacred Sword is going to come out here. Going to do a big chunk of damage. Surgeon Strikes can come out here next and finish off Ursula. Cool. Cool. Later, Ursula. See you later, alligator. Or bear, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but yeah, we dump on Ursula and it's so free because they don't have Terra. I pretty much have the choice. And I hit through Protect, so you can't really. It, it, it was really my choice at that point. So Flamethrower now flies. They are going to get rid of the Shen Pao. And from here, I am going to bring back out the Slytherin. Back out the wings full of Slither. The Slither wing is now going to come out here. I'm going to go first impression onto the Dragapult. And we're going to cook him from there. We love it. We love it. So yeah, Slither wing killing it in today's video. I love this Pokemon. I think its design is like insanely cool. Like so cool. I love how they did Paradox Pokemon because they gave some Pokemon designs that are cooler than the original like Slither wing. I don't really like Iron Moth. I don't really like a lot of the futuristic ones, but he's just so cool. He really is. But I'm going to go for an Aqua Jet here. 
And I'm going to go for a first suppression. Just do some damage on the Dragon Bolt. So we'll say bye bye to Heatran. Heatran's gone all day. He's not surviving. He's not surviving. Simply not. And then we have... Uh, we have Scarf Regilecki in the back end to kind of clean up, clean up everything. Love it. Let's see how much damage first impression is going to do this Dragon Bolt. Dragon Bolt's not that bulky on defense. We don't have Shen Pao next to us anymore. But still, we got the booster energy boost. Actually, we might not have the booster energy boost anymore. And whoa, what was that sound? What, what was that sound? Yo, what? What was that sound? Why'd that sound so cool? Why'd that sound so cool? That sounded weird but cool at the same time. I've never heard that sound before. But back to the action. He Psychic Fang is my Urshifu. And it's totally fine because I got the boy cooking in the back end right here. This is where we go for a nice lovely Thunderbolt. And we're going to protect our acrobatics. He's choosing the Psychic Fangs. We'll just acrobatics. We'll double down. It's fine. Thunderbolt's going to come out here. I know it's not very effective, but big chunk of damage. Another one will KO. And he's going to Psychic Fangs down you. It's all good. We win this match all day. All day long. GG's. GG's. I was going to protect Slytherwing and choice in the E-Web, but it was just, it's a lot easier for us to just, just to double down. Because again, Thunderbolt should be able to KO. If it doesn't and we lose this match, we'll be upset. But I have faith in my Reg like we just KO. Cool. There it is. 3-0. Slytherwing team. Crazy strong in Regulation D. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0 perfect record using Slytherwing in all three matches. Absolutely an amazing lead considering... All the teams that we versed kind of countered Slytherwing on the lead, but it still was insane. The first impression KO the Scizor was doing big time damage with Acrobats and just taking out Pokemon left and right. So super cool to use a off meta Pokemon and get that much value out of him in this meta. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.